Hi, you're welcome to my channel today. My name is FC Ashaolu, and this is a musing of the spirit channel, a channel where we reveal the mind and the intent of the Holy Spirit to bring you joy, health, and peace and encouragement in your day to day work with the Lord. It's my pleasure to welcome you back to my channel. Welcome. If you're new on this channel, press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that each time I release excellent and great video, you'll be the first to get to watch them and to be blessed. Amen. You are welcome to my channel. Today, I'm starting a series on the Holy Spirit. Uh, we already have a video of Holy Spirit baptism, which we are going to be referring to in our series on the Holy Spirit. I discover that as a Christian, you need the Holy Spirit to be able to successful as a Christian you will not struggle neither will you stress yourself unnecessarily when you have the Holy Spirit so the first topic that we'll be considering in this series is who is the Holy Spirit and to answer this question we will go through the Bible and discover what the Bible says about the Holy Spirit are you excited about this series let me know in the comment section hallelujah if you are ready let's get to it so the first, um, uh, the first uh, scripture that tells us about the Holy Spirit is found in the book of uh, John chapter 14 and verse 16. He said, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. So in this verse, who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the comforter. Say so you give us a comforter that will stay with us forever, that will comfort you in your afflictions, that will comfort you in everything that you are going through in life. He's a comforter. He is a comforter. That is who the Holy Spirit is. The next Bible verse that talks about who the Holy Spirit is, is found in the book of John chapter 16 and verse 13. And it reads, How be it when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak. And he will show you things to come. So in this verse, we can see that the Holy Spirit is referred to as the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth that will show us all things. It will, it will guide us into all truth into truth of different issue the truth of about marriage the truth about business the truth about life the truth about healings the truth about just name it the holy spirit is the spirit of truth amen another verse bible verse that to show us who the holy spirit is is taken from the book of second peter chapter 1 and verse 21 and it reads for the prophecy came not in whole time by the will of man, but only men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. This shows that the Holy Spirit is the author of Scripture. He, he, he was the one that moved the men of old to write the Scripture down. So he is the author of the Scripture. Amen. And also in John, John chapter 16, and verse 8, the scripture says, And when he is come, he will reprove the word of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. This shows that the Holy Spirit is also known as a um, convictor of sin. It's the one that convicts uh, people of their sin. It will let you know when you fall short of the glory of God. It will let you know when you have committed sin. Amen. So the next Bible verse that shows us who the Holy Spirit is, is in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 22. And it reads, Who hath also sealed us, and given the harness in this, the harness of the Spirit in our hearts. So the Holy Spirit is our seal, is the seal of the believer. Amen. Uh, the sixth scripture that shows us who the Holy Spirit is, is found in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 22 and it reads who likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself make intercession 
for us with groanings which cannot be altered. This is a very powerful act of the Holy Spirit. This is a very powerful work of the Holy Spirit. So in, in, the, in this verse, the Holy Spirit is known as an intercessor. He helps us to intercede. He helps us to pray. Amen. He makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be altered. It's the one that helps us to pray. Hallelujah. I just released a new video that says um, how to revive your prayer life. And I mentioned in that video that it is important that you have the Holy Spirit because He is the one that will help you to make prayer, you know, without stress. It will help you to pray without be making prayer to be boring. If you want to watch the video, I will link it at the top of this video so that you can go and watch it and also learn from it. Amen. The next verse that shows who the Holy Spirit is, is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 3 and verse 16. And it reads, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. In this verse, we can see that the Holy Spirit is described as the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. That is who the Holy Spirit is. Amen. And the next scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 14 and verse 26. And it reads, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father we send in my name is that he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you he said the holy spirit will teach us all things those people that teach are what they are teachers so the holy spirit is our teacher the holy spirit teaches us teach, teaches us what we don't know. I have received numerous, a countless number of lessons from the Holy Spirit that He has taught me in my business, in my marriage, in my spiritual life. So many lessons that I can't even begin to, you know, recount. So the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Amen. The next uh, Bible verse that shows who the Holy Spirit is, is in Romans 8 and verse 16. And it says, The Spirit is said, Bearest witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So in this verse, we can see that the Holy Spirit is referred to as a spirit of, as the witness. It bears spirit witness in our spirit that we are children of God. So the Holy Spirit is a witness. Hallelujah. So the next Bible verse is taken from the book of John 16 and 13. And it reads, I'll be it. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all fruit. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He said he will guide us into all truth. That means the Holy Spirit is our guide. That is who the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is our guide. Amen. So if you are looking for guidance in any area of your life, hold on to the Holy Spirit. He will guide you to the truth that you need to know. Amen. The last scripture that shows us who the Holy Spirit is, is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19. And it says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have, which you have of God, and you are not your own. Amen. So in this Bible verse, we can see that the Holy Spirit is referred to as the indweller of believers. He dwells in us, so he is the indweller of believers. So these are the verses and much more that I did not mention here. These are the main major verses that tells us who the Holy Spirit is. So go through these scriptures and get to know more about the Holy Spirit because you know him. You need to know him to excel in your Christian work. You need to know him to excel even in any area of your life. Yes, it's there for us. It tells you what to do in your business, how to grow your business, how to live your life. I have benefited immensely from uh, having the Holy Spirit in my life and I'll be sharing my experiences and testimonies as we go on in this series. Hallelujah. Let me know in, this, in, this, in the comment section if you enjoy this um, series that we are just starting today let me know whether you want it or not but i promise you it's going to be exciting it's going to be great and it's going to bring insight into your christian work with the lord amen
Thank you for watching. And if, like I said earlier, if you need to know more about the Holy Spirit, there is the link for uh, the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You need to get baptized in the Holy Spirit and begin to speak in tongue. Amen. So I will leave the link at the top of the video. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.